signature recipe, but Gabriella Kaufman, a fashion buyer from San Francisco, has one that's a little unusual. Walk us through your trademark dish. Sure, you know, I think everyone should bring a little surprise and delight. Um, so I've chosen to really perfect my jello shots. Um, you know, birthdays, office parties, they're a really big hit. Um, if you just use some unflavored gelatin and maybe some of the favorite flavors of your choice, you can really uh, surprise folks. And of course, you know, a little spirit, a little kick doesn't go right. Especially at an office party, I guess. You, yeah, you must be the life of the party. <laughs> Stephen Newman, an attorney originally from New Hartford, New York, is a poker player, and you've played in some pretty lofty company? Well, I'm a terrible poker player, but to raise money for legal aid, some friends of mine and I got the chance to play poker with Elena Kagan, who at the time was a law professor at the University of Chicago, and now she's on the Supreme Court. And it was a great event. We raised lots of money for legal aid, and she cleaned us out. She's immensely talented. Or at least better than you, I guess. <laughs> That's all we know so far. Brian yeah. Chen, our attorney champion, an attorney from Chicago. This story is making me a little nervous before you even begin. You were a third wheel on someone else's honeymoon? That's right. I was a groomsman at the wedding of a couple of friends from law school. Now, they went to Tahiti and did their like real honeymoon. But then uh, the bride and I, much like Stephen, both really enjoy playing poker. So they invited me to meet them in Las Vegas, and the two of them had a very financially successful, you know, start to their marriage, and I got to be there to witness that, which was a lot of fun. Two poker players. Gabriella, are you in? Oh, absolutely. I'm terrible. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds great. My kind of game. Brian, you gave us the last correct selection. Where do we head now? Cross the line for 800. The answer there? Trekking south exiting Egypt to cross into this nation that's almost twice as vast. Brian, what's Sudan? Yes. 13 letter word, 600. Really throwing her voice around, Darcy Lynn won America's Got Talent, performing as one of these. Brian, what's ventriloquist? You got it. Cross the line a thousand. Zipping east out of Alberta to enter this Canadian province. Stephen, what is Saskatchewan? That's the province. Hobbies and pastimes a thousand. The answer there is the Daily Double. An opportunity for you, you're now in second place. I'll bet 3,000, please. All right, for the lead, here's your clue. A ferroequinologist is a fancy name for someone who enjoys this hobby. Also the name of a 1996 Ewan McGregor film. What is train spotting? You got it. And you are now in the lead. Oh, financial signing, 400, please. 